Psalm 91 You who sit down in the high God's presence, spend the night in Shaddai's shadow. Say this, God, you're my refuge. I trust in you and I'm safe. That's right. He rescues you from hidden traps, shields you from deadly hazards. His huge outstretched arms protect you. Under them, you're perfectly safe. His arms fend off all harm. Fear nothing, not wild wolves in the night, not flying arrows in the day, not disease that prowls through the darkness, not disaster that erupts at high noon. Even though others succumb all around, drop like flies right and left, no harm will even graze you. You'll stand untouched. Watch it all from a distance. Watch the wicked turn into corpses. Yes, because God's your refuge, the high God your very own home. Evil can't get close to you. Harm can't get through the door. He ordered his angels to guard you wherever you go. If you stumble, they'll catch you. Their job is to keep you from falling. You'll walk unharmed among lions and snakes and kick young lions and serpents from the path. If you'll hold on to me for dear life, says God, I'll get you out of any trouble. I'll give you the best of care if you'll only get to know and trust me. Call me and I'll answer. Be at your side in bad times. I'll rescue you, then throw you a party. I'll give you a long life, give you a long drink of salvation. Father, teach me to consistently tarry or settle in your presence. Open my mind to understand what your presence truly is. Your word instructs me to come into your presence with thanksgiving, so help me not lose my keys to the door. You gave very simple instruction to that in Ephesians 5.20. You tell me in another place that in your presence there is fullness of joy, not happiness, but deep, strengthening joy. Jesus said that where two or more are gathered in his name, he is there. You are omnipresent everywhere all the time. And yet, just like the table you set for me in the presence of my enemies, or the old, you can lead a horse to water, unless I make the effort to engage, I will never know the benefit of these beautiful promises. In your presence, not looking at it or marveling how nice it is, you rescue me from hidden traps. There is nothing that can alter this life you have given me, not this earthly life or death, principalities and powers, angels, things present or things to come, height or depth, or any creature can separate me from your life, your love. Teach me to always, always, always hold on to you for dear life. For you have promised to hold me and keep me and never let me go. This is the answer to every spirit that has ever breathed life through this temporary house. Yes, we all have the underlying understanding that this spirit never dies, but you are the only way this spirit really gets to live. Amen.